Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I have rounded up all of my top favorite hair products. Many times people use the term holy grail to refer to those products that you would cry buckets of tears if they were ever discontinued. And that is what I am seeing before me. These are products that I feel like are essential to my hair's needs. And we're talking about everything from shampoo to hairspray to shine spray and everything in between. Now this isn't gonna be a particularly long video because I have limited myself down to just one product in each category. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and now let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off with the category of products that you rarely see on here, and that's because you're not usually seeing me washing my hair. So the first product is something I get asked about a lot. It is for a clarifying shampoo, my top favorite. I've used this for years is the Redken Clean Maniac. Now that's what mine is labeled, but I believe now they have changed the name of it to Cleansing Cream. Redken's kind of notorious for that. Throughout the years, they'll kind of slightly change the names, maybe even slightly change the formula. But this is such a wonderful clarifying shampoo. It won't dry out your hair. It won't strip out your color. It's color safe and it really only takes a small amount to get that product buildup out of your hair. The way I like to use it is maybe once a week, or if I just feel like I put in a little too much Enjoy Dry Wax, <laughs> then I will go in with this shampoo, and usually I will shampoo twice with it. So the key is with a clarifying shampoo is you want to keep washing and rinsing until that shampoo starts sudsing up. It might take two or three times, depending on how much product you use in your hair, but this is a fabulous clarifying shampoo. Now, as far as my favorite daily shampoo, this was kind of hard until I really thought back through the years and the one that I almost always have on hand and I use on a routine basis is the Redken All Soft. Now I've also tried the Mega Soft and I don't particularly love that one, but this one I feel like has the proper amount of moisturizing that I need because I do have heavily high highlighted hair, but yet it doesn't weigh down the hair and I don't feel like it takes a whole lot of this product either. Generally on a day-to-day -day basis, this does a good enough job of cleaning out all of my hair styling products as well. So really highly recommend that shampoo. And then pairing with it, my daily conditioner, I really go to and rely on is the All Soft Conditioner. Now, it does not take much of this at all. It is really hydrating, but again, I don't feel like it weighs down the hair. And if you have short hair like I do, you know that can be a challenge. Both of these together, I feel like give that good amount of moisture without weighing the hair down. If you have super fine hair and you're looking for volume, I do have another video coming with special products that would be even more helpful for you. But for me, those are my top favorites. Now, as far as purple shampoo toning products, Recently, I did just review this L'Oreal Le Gloss and I am loving it, but I feel like I can't call it a holy grail product if I've only used it three times. So for right now, my top favorite purple shampoo toning product that I love is the Amica Buster Brass Shampoo. I think this is phenomenal. And usually if I'm having a real hard time with some real brassiness, I can use this shampoo maybe two times in a row, two days in a row, and it will really cool things off. Now, I have to say, I have been super impressed with the L'Oreal Toning Gloss, and if I do one of these videos in, this, in the near future, you're probably going to see this as the Holy Grail product, but I didn't feel like it was right to call a product that's been in my possession for three weeks Holy Grail just yet. Now the last product that I feel like is essential for me that I use in the shower is the Joyco K-Pack Luster Lock. This is the Color Therapy Instant Shine and Repair Treatment. This stuff is amazing if you have dry, overly processed hair, whether it be short or long, 
this works miracles. Now this is a product that I will use more often right after I've had my hair highlighted. And then when I get to the point where I'm at now where I've had my highlights for two months, I find that I really don't have to use this very often. So I use it more right after the color treatment and then as my hair gets better conditioned, I find that I have to use it less. But this will really in one treatment just soften the hair and I just think it does work wonders. So if you've got dry hair, definitely check this out. All right, let's go on to styling products and most of these should be very familiar. So let's just test your knowledge and see if you get these right, okay. So we're gonna start off with one of the first things that I put in my hair and I've been using this for almost a year now and I'm still on my first bottle because that's how little it takes. But it is the Stylus Sheer Remedy Liquid Satin Treatment. Now again, if you don't have dry hair or you're not really coloring your hair on a regular basis, you might not need this, but if you do or if you have dry scalp or if you experience like I did some extreme hair loss after an illness or something, this stuff has just been a wonderful kind of all around treatment. It is kind of an oil base, but it doesn't weigh down the hair, it adds shine, but it also is meant to help condition the scalp and strengthen your hair. So there's a lot of wonderful properties to this. And again, I just use the tiniest amount but this has definitely become my go-to kind of oil shine treatment that I add in my wet hair. The next product is one that last summer we all were starting to cry tears because we had been told it was discontinued. But alas, it has not been discontinued. The company was restructuring. It is now back available at Ulta. It's on Amazon and wherever else you buy professional hair products. It is the Catwalk by TG, and this is the Root Boost Spray. This has been something that has been in my cupboards for well over 10 years, maybe even 12 or more. This is a fabulous product, and so many of you have told me what an amazing change you have seen in the volume added to your hair when you use this product. It does not take a lot. This is a product that you use at the roots of your hair in your wet hair and then blow dry and you don't need a lot and I only use it kind of in targeted areas where I need lift which is right here in the crown area maybe in the front if I'm doing something wild and crazy like I did today but you will see significant difference and it doesn't feel heavy on this on the hair it is not a mousse several of you have said is it a mousse is it a spray it's a hybrid of the two. So you can see the nozzle is very fine there, but when you spray it out, it looks slightly foamy, but it's very, very liquidy. So it's not like a traditional foam, but it is kind of foamy, but not, if that makes sense. But this is something that I highly, highly recommend. I did find a close second place favorite but this still remains at the top for me. All right, this next product is by far my absolute favorite and I feel like the most unique product that I'm sharing with you today and it is the Enjoy Dry Wax. I get asked all the time, what's the name of that product? The brand is Enjoy, like you enjoy life, right? Enjoy Hair Care is the brand and the product is called Dry Wax. I know, it seems really silly and simple, right? But that's a great description of what it is. It is a wax that you use in place of a pomade. So that is what I use in my hair every day. It gives texture. It allows you to manipulate your style completely to get it where you want it to go. It doesn't get greasy in the hair and it works on all hair types. I have heard from so many of you with super fine hair recently that said you were really hesitant to try this product because you've tried so many in the past and then you finally gave it a try and you were blown away by how well it works for you. 
because it's not greasy, I feel like as long as you use the proper amount, and I stress this all the time, but it is true of every hair product. If you use too much, it is going to weigh your hair down. But if you use just the right amount and it does not take very much, I know if you're used to using other hair pomades, you're used to that huge dollop, you're used to having to keep going back into the jar for more, you don't need to do that. Because this doesn't dry down, you get plenty of time to manipulate your hair before you set it with hairspray, if you desire. This also is a wonderful product if you don't wanna wash your hair the next day, you get up and you can either just run your fingers through your hair and reactivate it. I do that many mornings and unless I have some wild and crazy hair that I can't flatten, I am usually pretty good to go. I could even just put on a little hairspray and go out the door. If you find you've got real crazy bed head, you can pull out your blow dryer and just warm up the hair and then reform your hairstyle for the day. And it works amazingly well. So enjoy dry wax. I will link down below and up here in the corner a video of some tips of how to use it because it is a very firm product. A lot of people are stymied when they first open it, wondering if they got a bad jar because it's so stiff in there. It almost feels like a candle. You didn't get a bad product, but check out that video. I'll show you some tips. And by the way, as far as how all of these smell, none of the hair styling products that I have shown so far have any real noticeable scent to them. Now this one, if you put your nose like right in the jar, you can smell like a little bit of a kind of fresh scent. It's not my favorite, but you should not smell anything once it's on your hair. If you get a jar that really smells awful, then you know you've gotten a rancid jar and you need to send that back. <laughs> so same with catwalk, there is no scent to this whatsoever. So if you get something that has a really horrible scent, send it back because I don't like hair products that stink. So I would never <laughs> recommend one to you. All right, the last two products, um, let's see, let's go in with hairspray. This is a product I have used since I had long hair. So we all know how long that was if you saw my hair journey video. This is the Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray. Not only is this super affordable, but it does an amazing job at holding your hair in place and yet it's not crispy, crunchy, gross. Now you could probably get it that way if you really went to town and sprayed your whole head just filled with hairspray you might get there. This I have found works well in humid climates as well as dry. It has jojoba oil and Australian sea kelp in it so it helps your hair not get dry as you use it on a daily or semi-daily basis. So I have loved that and used that for years and years and years and for those of you who say you can't get that hairspray in your country, I think I may have just found a dupe for it, but I need to buy a bottle of it myself. I was trying it out at my parents' house. My mom said, hey, try this. And I'm like, ooh, this really reminds me of the Aussie Insta Freeze hairspray. So stay tuned for an upcoming video on that. All right, now the last product, again, it's something I don't use all the time, but it is something that sometimes after a fresh highlight, when my hair just seems kind of dry or if I have restyled my hair maybe a couple days and it's looking a little dull, I love a good shine spray. But shine spray, kind of like pomades, they can make your hair just get greasy or your style fall. And I have not found that to happen with this. This is the Agadir Hemp and Red Wine Gloss Spray Treatment. And I sure hope that this is still available. <laughs> the last couple of times I had to hunt it down like on walmart.com or something. But this is such a unique product. And in fact, I'll just go ahead and spray a little bit in my hair now. It does have a little bit of kind of a sweet scent, but it's not very strong. So I don't feel like once you put this on, you can't wear any other <laughs> perfume for the day or anything, but it just adds a gloss to the hair. Can you see that? 
that's just temporary and but it does have some really good ingredients so you aren't putting bad stuff in your hair but i just really feel like this is one of the best shine treatment sprays that i have ever used and it doesn't smell bad <laughs> i've used lots and many of you have been along with me on those trials and you've smelled those products through the screen with me and yeah this one though does smell wonderful and I just think it is fabulous. So that brings us to the end of my Holy Grail hair products. As always, I will leave in the description box below this video. I know sometimes that's a hard thing to find. So if you're on a mobile device, you're gonna look for the little arrow on this side. If you're on your computer, you're gonna look for the words show more below the video. Click that and you're gonna see a list of all the products I shared with you today, along with shopping links for your convenience. So you can easily find and do more research on each of the products that I talked about today. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.